So we're constantly in a race to get the best and the latest Apple products and we end up paying Apple prices for their products. So for example, I have the smart cover for the iPad mini by Apple and you can purchase a lot of third party options for one third of the price. Now, if you stay one generation behind, you can end up saving a lot of money with Apple products because when you stay one generation behind, a lot of the third party accessories for the Apple products become a lot cheaper as well. So in this video, I'm gonna go over the Jettac smart cover for the iPad Air 3, and let's see if it lives up to the hype. Is it the same quality as this cover right here? And is it worth saving your money? So stay tuned. So starting off with the packaging, I mean, it's nothing special. It's pretty budget. It was actually bent up even when I received it. Now, when I took the case out of the box, from the outside, it looks exactly like the Apple iPad cover but you get to notice the difference when you touch the inside. So the inside, it feels really, really rough. And if you ever feel the Apple one from the inside, it's really soft and smooth. Now from the back, I really like that it has a protective cover on the back. The Apple cover does not include this. So the budget one does include that. The holes are very nicely cut out. So they have all the holes you need for your iPad Air 3. And sometimes what happens with the third party ones that I've purchased in the past is that the holes are not cut properly. So when you put the iPad inside the case, it's, it's the holes are not matching. Sometimes they're missing holes or sometimes the iPad does not fit properly into the case. However, when I did my testing with this case, I did not face any of those issues. And there wasn't much of a struggle to get the iPad Air 3 into the case. It fit very snugly. And if you really need to remove it, it's not that difficult. You can push from the side, it comes out. Now it acts the same way the Apple iPad cover works. So it's magnetic. When you close it, the screen turns off. When you open it, the screen turns back on. So it has the same features that the Apple smart cover has. And as you can see, I'm demonstrating all the cutouts. They're really, really precise, and the iPad is a perfect fit within this case. And continuing with the features, it has the same features as the Apple Smart Cover. So as I explained in the, earlier in the video, it's magnetic. Now, if you would like to type on it, it has that option as well, so you can type on it. In my testing, it was the viewing angle was perfect. I did not have any difficulties typing and the iPad did not slide across my table when I was typing. So I've noticed that with some third party smart covers where you're typing on the iPad and it, the cover tends to slide the iPad away from you. But with this cover, I did not have that, that issue as well. And the typing angle was really nice. Now this case smart cover is not that heavy, which I was really surprised about. And one other thing I really, really liked about it is when you close the smart cover, since they have a protective case on the back, it completely closes your iPad. So in case if it falls down, you drop it in a hard surface, I really see this case protecting your iPad because the case actually seals across the iPad. Unlike a lot of the other cases out on the market, or the Apple smart cover that's available, which only covers the front side and not the back of your iPad. And I was really happy about the back protection. So when I was originally about to purchase a case for my iPad Air 3, I was looking for one with back protection. If the Apple one had provided some back protection at a more reasonable price, I probably would have went for the Apple smart cover. And I did accidentally drop the iPad Air once with the case on, and to my surprise, everything was perfect. There was no scratches, the glass was perfect. The iPad actually fell and the back part of the case actually provided really good protection. So besides looking nice and being lightweight, it actually does protect your iPad Air 3 at a reasonable price. The back of the case is smooth, but it does get smudges. So you have to be careful. Just clean up your case when you use it regularly. That happens with most cases. So it does happen with this case as well. And here's a quick comparison of the Jettac smart cover case versus the Apple smart cover on the iPad mini. So when I put them side by side, there isn't a much of a visual difference. When you look at it, they look exactly the same. There's no difference at all. They have the same functionalities. Now, the only difference I see between both of these cases is the price 
and then the inner surface of the smart cover. So when you touch the inner surface of the smart cover on the Apple case, it's really, really smooth and soft. So if your hands brush across your smart cover, the Apple one, it doesn't feel, it feels nice actually. It doesn't feel awkward at all. It doesn't feel rough. The, that's probably my only complaint on the JetTech cover. So when you touch the inside of the case, it does feel rough. It doesn't feel natural. It doesn't feel nice. But the good thing is they, pre they provide a back protection for the case one that Apple does not provide. So that's a big, big plus from JetTech. So overall, there is a slight quality difference between this JetTech protective case and the Apple. For the price savings, I think it's totally worth going with this one. But what do you guys think? Do you think it's worth paying the extra money and getting the Apple smart cover? Leave your comments in the comment box below. But overall, I would recommend it for the price savings. It still protects your Apple iPad and you're saving a lot of money while purchasing this one. So if you guys are interested in purchasing this one, I'll leave it in the description box below. Please hit the like button if this video has helped you out. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. And until next time, see you guys.